Hi Scorpios, welcome in today. Thank you for viewing me. Happy Saturday Scorpios. This is going to be your general reading. This is good for the collective, for the beautiful sign of Scorp Scorpio, whatever resonates best for you, you guys. Um, I've been pre-shuffling and cleansing. My name is Elena. Welcome in and welcome back to all the beautiful Scorpios out there. These four cards just flew out and I'm like, wow, because B, when I was, I cleanse and pre-shuffle before I come on camera. Pardon the incense, you guys, I do apologize. Um, and I heard, because I meditate on your energy and I heard, uh, choose logic over emotion, but balance the two. These cards flew out like 30 seconds ago and I read them and I'm like, wow, okay. And I will shuffle and I'll let them fly out. But these were the four cards that were given to me, Scorpios. So this reading will not resonate with everyone. If it sounds like something you're going through, this is, is your, this is your reading. Okay. The light in you can lead the way. If the world around you seems turbulent, stop. It is time to move forward. You have the power to make yourself better. And I feel right now this is about a, a new energy around you, Scorpios, of transformation to a bigger you. Now, my readings are all about our inner growth and development. And I feel that right now you've gone through a major transition in your life to show you a part of yourself that you have the strength and courage to conquer anything. And there's a new you that is here, but I feel there's something around you right now that you must choose logic over emotion, but balance the two, whatever that means. But let's see what the spirit guides want to say to you. Current energies for the sign of Scorpios. I always go by how I feel in the cards. I heard choose logic over emotion, but balance the two. So let's see what they want to say. Current energies for the sign of Scorpios. This reading is for, what, what do you want to show me for the sign of Scorpio? Hmm. Anything you'd like to show me current for the sign of Scorpio? Big reading today, apparently. All right, Scorpios, uh, the card that flipped that is staring at me right now is right here. Trust in the wise spirits and your prayers will be answered. Um, you guys, this is a higher self and this is your higher self. And if you're going through some type of change in your life for, for there's something around you right now that you have a huge sense of power with. Heal yourself to heal the world. Okay, there's a big energy around you, Scorpios, for you understanding that whatever you're going through in life, there's something around you showing you that your own strength and courage will get you through it. All right, to the left is you have the ability to affect your own destiny. Listen to the voice within you when it persists. Now, I want you to see the colors because everything is always color combined when I get the cards, the way they fly out. You know, it's like you have this beautiful energy around you, Scorpio, to rising above anything. That there's a voice inside of you that is persisting you to trust in something here. I have you are on the right path. And I have to overcome. You first have to climb. You guys, there's, I, I don't know what's going on in your life right now. But you are headed in a new direction. Like there's a part of you that has grown and evolved. And I'm going to say it's happened recently or in the last year. And there's a new Scorpio that is here. But to overcome, we have to climb. In order to get to a higher vibration, we must understand that everything we go through every day is a test to us. Us. Yes, us. All of us. That we have to change our ways in order to attract better things in life. And we must always learn to trust a higher source. We have to. I'm going to tell you my number one favorite comment that I get in the and this is what I hear all the time and I don't respond, but I send them the thought. I hear you always say things are changing or things are going to get better, but it never happens. In my, in my, in my mind, I hear, what are you doing to change it? Nothing can start to move into the right direction until we start to do some inner work on ourselves. And this is why a lot of people's lives don't change. Ask your spirit guide. All is well, inner space and universal knowledge. Now, universal knowledge is trusting in the divine and it's a big energy of your, the power of your thoughts, the power of your mind right now, Scorpios. 
and whatever you're going through right now I feel my guides are saying to you that there's something around you pushing you towards a new path but your faith will get you through it even faster and harder and harder in a good way meaning it's going to push you faster through this tunnel of walking into a higher vibration and you are in this beautiful energy of learning to go with the flow right now but it's I feel really my spirit guides are saying to you, if you're going through some trials and tribulations in life, maybe some insecurities about something, we all go through it. And I feel that right now spirit guides are telling me to tell you, you have to, trap, you have to tap into an inner higher universal knowledge of looking at your life and knowing that things that you've been through from the past, did you not always land on your feet? Yes, you did. Did it not always make you a better person? Yes, it did. Because right now you're headed towards somewhere that is beautiful and all is well. And that everything you're right now that perhaps you're projecting too much into the future about certain things and you get over emotional, it's your universal logic, universal thought that is going to pull you through to the other side of a bigger vibration, a bigger realm. So I know this reading will not resonate with everyone. I have certain messages for certain people. So if it sounds like something you're going through, everything is moving you in the right direction. Everything is well. Stay in the energy of a higher vibration with your thoughts. It's going to push you somewhere bigger and better. And I can't wait to look at your incoming because you know they're going to be beautiful. And I feel like your rainbows are about to come together. I feel it. We're headed into fall. We got Libra season rolling in. The winds are about to pick up. So let's look at your recent past a little bit, you guys. And... Like I said, my readings will not resonate with everyone, but if you're going through something right now, I hope those words have helped you. Now, recent past, just a little bit, pardon me. I'm gonna say, I do not know who's under these decks. I have about 25 decks in front of me. They're all cleansed. Right here, this is my, this is my Palo Santo stack, you guys. They're all cleansed. I cleanse so much every day and um, meditate it on and let's begin. Your recent past is about our own inner growth. I have new opportunities all around you with your heart, with love, new beginnings. Something that you've been wishing for for a long time, Scorpios. Seven of Pentacles, the King of Water, and the Star. And I shall stop. But the Star is the major arcana of renewal, of hope and faith in something. The King of Water is balancing logic with the heart, sitting above a body of emotion. But recently behind you, you were wondering if you were investing into the right things. You were wondering if something was going to work out for you. Could be about a lot of things, but there was something behind you that you had been wishing for for a long time, whatever it was. And the Ace of Cups are always a new lease of love on life. Something came your way to teach you about your own hope and faith and that you will heal from anything. And it's the end of difficult situations. You got to trust and believe. Spirit guides. <laughs> Sometimes you guys, I really do hear like a yes. All right. Recent past for my Scorpios, please. What would you like to tell me so I can tell Scorpios a little bit for messages? Why are these here in their current? Recent past for Scorpio. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. Like flipped over and then it flipped back. And who was it? I was just curious. <gasps> golden new beginnings. Golden new opportunities. It's a big ace. And the night of earth. Wow. Okay, you guys, I feel that something came your way recently behind you and it felt like it was going to be something golden and new. Or maybe you wanted something golden and new. But the knight of earth on the deck is telling me something. Three of wands and the king of fire and determination. And the king of wands is also the visionary about keeping its eye on what it wants to conquer. There is something recently behind you that you had to learn to go through and it was about something you truly wanted for stability. Um, pentacles are earth energy, you guys, money, structure. And it was definitely something at a distance. And why do I feel, okay, I'm, I can see, I, I'm not gonna, these cards are rolling, this, oh, this is rolling into your current energy. So I see a few cards, but I'm just gonna take a stab at something here, okay? Um, definitely there was something at a distance that you have pulled in and this is what I feel but the night of earth was teaching you that if you really wanted something that you've been wishing for for a long time that came your way for new golden beginnings new a new abundant opportunity you had to go after it one steady foot at a time a very earthy night logical methodical persistent 
but it's slow. Why are you pulling in, Scorpios? Okay, here we go. Here's some messages. I have the magician, your manifestations. You were definitely putting something out there, and you were putting it out there a lot. Seven of Swords, the card of escapism. Four of Pentacles holding back or holding on too tight to something. something. The King of Pentacles and your destiny, choices, decisions, the levers. Now, that's free will, but that is Gemini energy, making a choice. You had, some, you had to choose something behind you recently about what you really wanted to go after and you had your eye on something and spirit guides are saying, well, it was always at a distance and you were pulling it in. But how you were holding on to escapism was going to stop or start something that you were trying to manifest. Now, the Seven of Swords is a card of strategy, deceit, betrayal, but you know, that's Aquarius energy, you guys, and I'm actually an Aquarius. And I will tell you that sometimes it's easier for me just to escape than to just take it head on. You know, I have to escape a little bit before I can find my answers about certain things. You had to really look at what you wanted, Scorpios, because something came at you that was new opportunities, new beginnings with a solid structure. But the King of Pentacles is about, you know, using your resources wisely. You had a big lesson about that because there were certain choices you had to make and it was definitely going to alter a part of your destiny. Because coming into your current energies, you guys, the last card they gave me is the King of Water. What is the King of Water? The King of Water sitting above your body of emotion, Scorpios. Logic and the heart and everything was going to be fine. Everything is going your way. A big king, still waters run deep. A lot of love in that heart, but the king uses logic as well and sits above its emotion. There's something going on around you right now, Scorpios, pushing you to a bigger place, and you have to have faith in something and know that everything is guiding you in a new direction because everything is well. Everything is good. Trust in something here, Scorpios. There's a new spark in your hands for something of beauty, abundance, something you've been manifesting. It's just the beginning. Oh, Scorpio. <laughs> you guys, and I'm going to say something to you. I do this almost every day. I, this is ask your spirit guides. And I always ask, do you know, I always get answered in some weird way and it doesn't happen immediately, but I ask, like, why am I going through this? Or what is it you want me to know? And something will happen to me that day or the next day. And it's almost like a slap in my face. And I hear it. And it's like, oh, I got it. So, all right, you guys. If it sounds like something you're going through, you're going through something right now that perhaps emotionally it's overtaking you. You're, you know, you're obsessively like feeling like, is this right? Or is this all going to be okay? Tap into logic right now and balance the two and know that it's pushing you in a bigger vibration, a bigger realm. Beautiful. I love to see this. Now I'm going to look at uh, what's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios because you had to make some choices recently behind you. There's a sense of escapism in there, but I feel you came into a big energy of learning something about if you wanted something more in life you're going to have to be more wise about how you use your resources and balance your heart and your mind okay um the lost compass back to your integrity overflow overwhelm and plenty there's something that you're going to go through in the next few weeks that's actually going to lead you to a place of abundance and attraction but there's something that you need to acknowledge first and it's about having a higher light of what you want in life and coming back to your true essence of who you are and what you are because Scorpios you are made from strength yes you are transformation but you are fixed water there's four elements water air fire earth and you are the fixed water meaning that you are stronger than most Scorpios even realize and maybe you do realize about your own strength but right now you're being tested about your faith in something and logic with your emotion. Spirit guides, I would love some income and please, let's see, I'll just let them talk to my Scorpios. Strongest incoming. Yes, thank you. For Scorpios, week to two weeks. What do you want to show me for the sign of Scorpio? Strongest incoming, please. Thank you. Oh, I got another flipper. Who might this be? Yes. The overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. This is a card of abundance. 
from all aspects of life. But you see the white light? That is your faith. Underneath the deck, the benefactor, meaning that the more you give, the more you shall receive. And I'm not talking just monetary. I'm talking with your love, your compassion, your understanding. Mindful group think, a card of your resourcefulness and repairing your body, mind, and spirit. There's a huge energy for power around you, Scorpios. And I feel that it's almost like a test for you. And it's about your own resourcefulness, your own strength. That you can weather any storm. You know, the horn cactus also produces beautiful flowers. That there's a beautiful energy in the next few weeks showing you that everything is coming together in the right way. To stay in an energy of anything can happen in a beautiful, positive way and everything will come together. This is the benefactor telling me that the more you give with your own love and inner beauty and kindness and your own, the way you give into your own belief system, watch what you shall receive because this is a card of abundance and I've already seen it twice. It's also your faith. All right, here we go. I got some beautiful cards here for you. I can just feel it. I got four cards. Can't see them. Here we go. I got the lost compass back to your integrity back to your true essence, back to who you are. It's leading you down a giant path of a bigger faith. All right, now this is almost a little freaky. The empty well, time to replenish. You guys, look at the circles. Look at the cards. Now, you know, I, I, I really am feeling something very strong here, and this is like a huge energy of you going back to, to source, to your higher self, to a bigger and better Scorpio. And there's a beautiful energy around you for attraction. And I feel that everything is going to flow your way, but use it in a way of spreading your love and faith to others. That's what I really feel. Here we go. I have eye of the needle setting your intentions. And the last card they gave me, you guys, it's the many mass back to your authentic self. <gasps> Scorpios. You know, when we get back to our authentic inner self, do you know that we come into a pure light and we start to attract everything? The eye of the needle in the next week to two weeks is telling me, really set your intentions and how you want things to play out for you, Scorpios. You know, it's like your vision. And don't keep your eye off what you want. Because when we get back to the energy of our authentic self, it's almost like we're a higher vibration and this is when we start to attract. Everything is pushing you in a whole new direction. It's back to your integrity and replenishing yourself. And spirit guides are telling me this is about repairing yourself. A new building with the lights are coming on. It's a new part of your life, a new chapter. And I just feel spirit guides are telling me abundance is all around you. Use your power wisely. Oh, wow. This is something of beauty and magnificence. Now, I know my readings don't resonate with everyone, but if you, you are a Scorpio that's been doing the inner work and have been on the path of, a, of, of an enlightenment, there are so many beautiful things coming your way. And it's about you having your own faith and getting back to your authentic self of your beautiful creative energy, your beautiful divine love. Because there's something you're attracting and it, it's abundance, you guys, from all aspects of life. All right, beautiful. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> Stars in the skies, limitless possibilities. All right, thank you, spirit guides. That was beautiful for Scorpios. But I am going to get some messages. Oh, Scorpios, I am overwhelmed right now. Uh, these are straight from spirit guides. I will take one deck. I see it in my head. Um, and then I'll let them talk to you, you guys. I'm... Okay, I'm going to just kind of, no, who's up? Oh, oh, here they are. I'm sorry, you guys. You guys are just a little nutsy. Well, we all know that. That's not a surprise. <laughs> all right, let's go to the hair font. This is what my spirit guides want to say to you. I'm going to take a few under the deck and let them fly. Your loyalty, your commitment, your faith. It's a big major arcana. It's your polar opposite Taurus energy. It's going to get you through anything and it's going to get you to the top. Stop replaying on how bad something can go. 
have the will and determination to move forward. Trust your intuition to maneuver around any obstacles because victory, success, and new chapters are waiting for you. Keep putting the work into something and be open to everything with your divine heart. And trust your intuition. I feel like my spirit guides are telling me you're getting to the top of where you want to be and things are going your way. But it's in how you go about doing it. Now let's look. Spirit guides, messages for Scorpios today, please. Thank you. If you can give Scorpios any messages. Okay. About this reading today. What messages do you have for the sign of Scorpio? Thank you for the sign of Scorpio. Messages today, please. What would you like to tell the sign of Scorpios? Anything else? Two flippers. The king of pentacles using your resources wisely, but that's the king of success with its money, its structures. The Knight of Wands, a very determined knight to go after what you want. Now, the Knight of Wands is fire energy, you guys, and that's a brave knight. That knight will go up against the dragon. There's things coming your way that's telling you that you can go after anything you want, you know, and, and be determined to do it because this knight will even go up against the dragon. The Queen of Fire, looks like you're having a lot of fire energy here. Uh, the Queen of Fire is using your charisma, your charm. You know, the Queen of Fire is a very intuitive fire energy about attracting all the right people in its life. These are all flipped over. Eight of Cups. This is emotional baggage. It's time to leave it because it's trying to push you towards your Nine of Cups and your Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment and your ultimate happiness. There's something coming in for you to have the determination to go after and attract all the right energies. The King of Pentacles was on my chest. That is a king that uses its resources wisely, a very ambitious king, but it's also earth energy. Grounded, it's the bowl. Five of coins, a page of coins, and then I have the king of wands. Okay. You know, everything in life is about what we give into. And, you know, sometimes there's things in life that we really have to see it for what it is. And we have to realize that if we keep giving into certain emotional things, that they're going to block something bigger and better from coming our way. That's what I feel the message is. Because over to my left is big power, and you guys have the king of wands under the deck. Now, the king of fire and strength and courage. You know, this is about you guys just being in this huge energy of just strength. No matter what you want, you have the courage to step over fear. And it's the king that keeps its eye on the prize, knowing it's going to get what it wants with a lot of will and determination and fire. It's a big king. Four of pentacles. Now, the four of pentacles can be a card of holding on too tightly. I have one card left. The Four of Pentacles can represent stinginess, holding on too tightly to something. Maybe perhaps you're worried about something that you're holding on too tightly because, you know what, when we hold on too tightly to something, it stops the flow from coming our way. Because the last card they gave me, Scorpios, the Queen of Love. Now, what is the Queen of Love? Pure, divine love energy with its heart space. And, you know, the Queen of Water is very intuitive energy. But I feel my spirit guides are telling me that as long as you're always open to everything with your heart and let things go with your heart and trust with your heart, stop holding on too tightly to something that you feel has wounded you because it's blocking something from coming your way. You're ready to take new journeys. You're ready to take that leap of faith. This is the zero, Scorpios. This is about doing what brings you joy. Take that leap of faith. Be playful again because you're rebuilding a new Scorpio and it has something to do with your own truth, integrity, and being the visionary. Oh, Scorpios, what a reading. But now remember, this queen of love has nothing but pure divine love. It lets everything go with love. It's open to everything with love. Trusting with love. Meaning, I'm not talking about relationships. I'm just talking that everything is going to go good for you. Everything's going to be all right. And everything is in your power right now to change a part of your life for the things that you want. And the more that you put out everything with your own love and kindness and grace and generosity, and I'm not talking about just monetary generosity, about kind words to other people, watch what you receive in return. What a reading. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. And that's what I feel. And these words pour out of me. I don't even know where they come from. 
Now I'm going to get some Archangel Power Tarot cards from the angels, the master angels, and then I'll roll into Love Crossing. All right, a shuffle cleanse put down. The one under the deck is the Knight of Michael. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, and there will be sudden changes. <laughs> You guys, I really don't, I just, I just, I cleanse and put them down, but we're going to shuffle. We'll see what comes out for Scorpios today. I'm going to do one good shuffle and I'd like four cards, maybe three, four of the strongest angel messages for Scorpios today. Let's see. Hmm. If you can tell Scorpios any angel messages today, what would you like to tell the sign of Scorpio? Angel messages for the sign of Scorpio. One more, perhaps. Thank you. It's right here. Okay, underneath the deck, I always read the one under the deck, is the Nine of Gabriel. And then there's the King of Pentacles, the King of Ariel, and I'm going to read it. Ariel is the Angel of Earth. Gabriel is the Angel of Fire. You got the Nine. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared any possibilities environmental activism like I just feel like just keep moving forward and be prepared for whatever comes your way and everything is shifting something for a new harvest a new garden a new everything because it's literally a farmer with Angel Gabriel behind it and then they gave you the King of Pentacles I've seen this too many times in your reading you guys so it's a message your plans are working out very well Professional and financial success using your resources wisely. Watch where it leads you. Okay, first card to my left. We finished off with the Queen of Cups. Well, they gave you the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Raphael. Never a coincidence. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. Trust this divine water part of yourself, Scorpios. It's going to lead you into a new direction. That is just beautiful. That, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's just so lined up for you. I don't know what the last two cards are, but they gave you the five of Ariel, the angel of earth. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Stay in the power of a higher light, a higher faith, and know that everything is working out just fine. All right, here we are. They gave you the seven of Ariel. Angel Ariel is in the house today. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavors, Scorpios. Wow. Wow. Literally, I have the needle on that one. It's just like, mm. okay. Last card they gave you, Scorpio, is the page of Michael. Angel Michael has given you the page. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Logic. Review everything very thoroughly before you sign on the dotted line with your emotion. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm just going with the flow. All right, you guys, beautiful reading today. Love and light to everyone. I thank you for all your love and support, you guys. I am so grateful. And I love how you guys support other Scorpios going through something. That's beautiful. I do read the comments. So let's roll into Love Crossing. And if you are not dealing with anyone right now, you're in a happy space, you're in harmonious relationships, I always look at Love Crossing and what their journey is at the moment and what they're going through for difficult energies. So you guys have a blessed day, a blessed Saturday, an amazing next few weeks. Be open to everything with your heart space and remember universal knowledge. Oh, I love it. Okay, you guys have a blessed day. For the Scorpios out there dealing with somebody, I am going to look. Water moment. I do apologize. I get very thirsty during these readings. I, uh, somebody left a comment to me a few weeks ago about I shouldn't be drinking water on camera because the noise bothers them. Well, I'm not going to stay here dehydrated. I'm sorry. It's very draining. I drink a lot of water. Now, these are going to be the strongest love crossing. I decided to use this deck today. It is the Celtic Cross Tarot Cards. These may or may not be all your persons. 
I'm not here to bash anybody unless I see a bunch of horrible cards then perhaps I'll start doing some bashing. But this is just about what they're going through right now, okay? I have the moon, the lovers, and a crossroads. There's a reason I chose a deck. The moon, hmm? I don't do uh, signs because the moon could be Pisces, Cancer energy, and lovers is Gemini, but I'm not gonna do signs, you guys. I just don't because these are just strongest energies. But this is really someone, whoever you're dealing with, that, you know, it's that emotional pull is very unsure about something here, but they really feel that you two belong together. That th there's something between the two of you that there's there's a tie there that they don't understand. They know it's there, Scorpios. But whoever you're dealing with right now is really at a big giant crossroads in their life. And even though I feel their intuition is telling them something, and then I have the Knight of Love, they're staying in a very strong power of taking charge of situations in their life. And you know, whoever you, I would just feel this person really fears something here about this connection. I feel like this person is afraid of giving you 100% of their heart because then they have to give up a piece of themselves. We're all on our own journey. But you know, um, the heart wants what the heart wants. And I feel this person is in denial about something here, even though they know deep, deep, deep down inside of them, there is something here that belongs together. They're fighting it the whole way. They fear something here. They fear, they, this person fears getting caught up in a commitment or, um, hmm. Spirit guides, I'm going to go ahead and look. Love crossing energies, please. My Scorpios have been dealing with. Thank you. What else do you want to show me about the love crossing strongest for the sign of Scorpio? Strongest love crossing, please. The moon. Mmm. Kind of right on the money here. I have the star under the deck, though. That's a beautiful major arcana. It's Aquarius energy. <laughs> you guys, this is a big card. And uh, the star is just someone who's trying to find peace again. Harmony. That's a card. This is a card of healing. You know, it has many meanings behind it. But I'm, I'm feeling somebody here is trying to go through something to find a sense of renewal again about healing through something, trying to find harmony with their emotion and staying grounded. Uh, a big king of fire, and it's the five of swords under that, five of wands and judgment. You're, uh, whoever you're dealing with, this person is in big judgment mode. Now judgment is not about judging you, but it's about judging something about their own actions, I feel. This person's got a lot of pride, ego, Judgment, two of wands, and it's with the king of love and the wheel of fortune. You guys, the two of wands is someone who's stuck on moving something forward here because judgment is still behind the fence, meaning that I got these two ugly fives, and now I don't like fives. And, and the five of wands is just constant conflicts in this person's energy, and the five of swords is someone who uses words of manipulation or feels that you said something to them to demean them in some way could go both ways. They're trying to find their answers about something right now. Wounded energy, and they're trying to find their answers with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is sideways with wounded, and I will say whoever you've been dealing with has been through a battle, but they have to find their truth about something, and it's their integrity. I'm feeling something here. Hmm. The chariot is sideways. And there's big old justice with the three of pentacles sideways. I do read sideways cards they're given to me, and I've been doing this for a long time. This is Libra energy. It doesn't, it's just telling me about the energy because when Libra's getting this energy, it's someone who will fight for what they feel is right. They feel something here has been unjust. But you see, they're not really looking at something in the right way in their current energy because the chariot is sideways with the visionary and the King of Swords. And I feel whoever you've been dealing with is really caught up in something with their own pride. Like they feel that they've been beaten down too many times. They know that there's something about themselves and in their lives that they have to let it go and put it behind them because this person cannot rebirth anything new until they do so. All right, here we go. Three of Swords and the Moon. 
moon. All right, this is a big ouch. And some people, it, they never heal from it. And some people, it takes them a lifetime, but we do heal. You know, um, gosh, this person is really going through trying to release something that has really wounded them. I feel this person knows they have to make a decision in their life to better a part of themselves to have a place of renewal again. But they're in a big energy of fighting for something here and it's justice. And I will tell you that, you know, this is somebody who's holding on to a lot of past pains. Now, you know, we all heal at our own, own, own pace. Some people can heal in a month. Some people it takes 20 years, 10 years, two years, a year. Usually it takes me about a good year. A year of just a lot of suffering and pain and then finally I see the light but some people it takes a long time because that's a big card of releasing everything with love that they've been through and understanding there's a there's a cause and effect for everything to teach them something about themselves so let's look at their intentions towards you because this person is just mm. you guys I just want to say because I have the king of water right here and I have the wheel of fortune because the king of water is the card of just pure love with its heart it's just constant pull they want something to change between the two of you and it's in divine timing they trust in it but they have to release a lot of things around them right now to move forward and rebirth new things okay so these are their current energies right now because justice is rolling in Libra season and, and I think it's tomorrow or the next day, but when we get into Libra seasons, the energy shift fast, it's air. And everybody's gonna be in a more of an energy of trying to find their answers about what has been right, what has been wrong and finding balance with their scales. And then they'll be able to rebirth new things. Okay, so let's look at their intentions. I know I'm gibber gabbering a lot today. All right. Uh, I hear lights, here's many, that's where I'm going. Uh, their strongest intentions coming in for you. The King of Swords, I have the Sun, Ten of Swords, the Devil, and an Ace of Cups. What am I, oh. Hmm. Three of Swords, Six of Swords. Their intentions? Somebody, somebody wants to lure you back in. Um, uh, I feel like somebody here is having a hard time detaching themselves from something that's been toxic, but somebody wants to try to get you back with them and they're going to speak some type of truth with you, understanding, but there's still a toxic energy around somebody here. The Empress, Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, King of Swords, and the Wounded Energy. Oh, what am, this is really complex. Um... Somebody's, okay, on this, I feel somebody's coming back. Somebody wants to try to mend something with you, Scorpios. But I still feel that there's something here that they have to do some work on. And that's about a negative attachment or energy that's around them that keeps pulling them in the wrong direction. They want to come together with you in the right way. But there's a sense of escapism here. And I just feel somebody here is going to try to speak some truth to Scorpios. What do you want to have about their intentions? Love crossing towards Scorpios. Thank you. Next few weeks, strongest. Love crossing for the sign of Scorpios. Strongest intentions with love. Coming in for Scorpio, please. Anything else? The Knight of Swords, and that's the Knight of Communication. It's a brave night going after something with words, communication, uh, judgment, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in the sun with an Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to heal something with you, Scorpios, for a new beginning. I feel something weird here. Hold on a sec. The Nine of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Earth. I feel somebody wants to move something forward with you in a new direction, but they're still wounded about something here. Like somebody wants you extremely with a lot of love you truly make this person feel good but they're still holding on to something and, and it's almost like you make this person feel better but they need to learn to release something and i don't know what it is everybody's situation is different and perhaps that's why spirit guides are saying choose logic over emotion and balance the two 
All right, the Queen of Fire, a very charismatic queen, it's sideways, and I have it with the King of Swords sideways. Well, the High Priestess and the card of a reunion. Three cups of love. Uh, yike. I, guys, I am really perplexed. Somebody's going to take their time to move in towards you in the next few weeks. They're going to try to plant some seeds in the right way about speaking their truth about something and using their charisma and charm. This person is still wounded about something. There's a part of you that they can't let go of. They want you in their life because you truly make this person happy. And you are a part of what they really want in life, their wish. But this person needs to trust their own intuition about certain things in their life that aren't really making them happy. And I feel that they're going to come, they're, they're going to try to use some type of communication to communicate with you. Um, the King of Swords is a very honorable king with words, but it's with the Queen of Fire, and that's a very charismatic, charming queen. This is what I feel. Their intentions is to heal something and, and try to get together with you again to see how it's going to feel. And I feel this person is very unsure about something here, but they know they have to move forward towards you because they don't want to lose you. And I do feel this person loves you immensely, but there's some old baggage that they need to learn to finally let go of. You know, life can be hard, life can be brutal, but we all go through, we, everybody, there's not a person on this planet that doesn't go through something that has wounded them, hurt them, and we have to learn to let it go with love and a compassionate understanding that it made us a bigger and better person to really do some inner work. And this person wants you back in their corner. They want, they want to fulfill a part of their heart's desire, but there's still something that they need to confront, and it's about their fear of commitment and love but they don't want to let you go. They love you. So what you do with that is up to you. I ain't getting involved in that stuff. That's all I'm going to say. I have to step out now. You guys, I hope that reading today helped you. Everybody's situation is different. I wish you all much love and light. I hope your reading today helped you because it was so beautiful. All right, you guys, thank you for all your love and support. Have a blessed day, an amazing next few weeks, and um, I will see you all next time. Thank you.